And so what AI does for us is it's, you know, is gradually increasing bids for every single target and every single campaign multiple times a day, trying to find data and try, mm -hmm. trying to get to that significance um, state where you have, you know, you have plenty of clicks, you have plenty of orders, and we know exactly how to bid each of those targets. AI can manage all your ads automatically with what would otherwise require constant monitoring and thousands of changes to things like keyword targeting and bidding. In this conversation with Robbie from Take a Metrics, we take a deep dive into the concept for how AI can unlock new opportunities for sellers and also how it makes advertising at scale accessible and easy to do. Let's jump in and let's hear what Robbie has to say. All right, I'm here with Robbie and to preface this conversation, this is going to be a multi-piece between Robbie and Laura Patterson. The, the broad goal of this conversation is really to help people understand how AI is directly impacting uh, how people sell in e-commerce, how people sell and advertise on Amazon, and to really have a, a, a good basic understanding of just artificial, artificial intelligence in general. AI is a really big conversation right now, or has become big, mostly because of things like ChatGPT yep. and I, what I would describe as mainstream social media. But we've been doing AI, we've been leveraging AI for, for quite a long time. And so I have Robbie here to help me and everyone watching <laughs> understand AI at a much deeper level when it comes to Amazon advertising, e-commerce advertising in general. So Robbie, just even before we get into AI, I'm wondering to give some context for your knowledge and your use of AI in advertising. Can you just yeah. help tell people what you do at Take a Metrics? Yeah, so currently I'm a manager in the premium services department at Take a Metrics. So I manage a team of six analysts right now, and each of those analysts has a... Um, a, a, a plate of clients, you know, anywhere between four and six clients on their team. So between all six of the, those analysts, I see tons of different problems, different, uh, you know, problems we're trying to solve across different categories, different industries. Um, my experience with AI so far, obviously using it at Teka um, is a big piece, but uh, go, even going back to previous companies, you know, so um, at another search agency um, started in 2015. So using AI since then. So a lot of experience in in how that can be used to uh, to help automate some things with the advertising side on yep. uh, Amazon. That's a, AI is just kind of this has been this ambiguous idea yeah. in people's minds, and this conversation the goal is to humanize that a little bit more, make it more realistic and tangible for people to understand. So, Robbie, I think the 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 question here for you is how are you leveraging AI to drive results to drive performance in advertising yeah so our tool you know built on ai and really the backbone of our tool flywheel to it at Teka, is our bidder mm -hmm. um without ai our bidder doesn't exist and our team is is uh manually managing bids N wouldn't recommend it not very <laughs> fun done it before and it's not fun so from the ai perspective you know where this is super helpful is is obviously we want our campaigns and, and our clients' campaigns and keywords that they're targeting to get data and to get to that value-based state of bidding where our tool looks at, you know, clicks, conversion rate, orders and sales, and we have plenty of data for keywords that we know exactly how to bid that. Um, but where AI really comes into play is when we don't have that data. So think about um, launching 100 new campaigns. They have no data on day one, very little probably on day two. What our team does and, and where AI again comes into play is um, that discovery phase where you don't have any clicks. And so what AI does for us is it's, you know, is gradually increasing bids for every single target and every single campaign multiple times a day, trying to find data and try, mm -hmm. trying to get to that significance um, state where you have, you know, you have plenty of clicks, you have plenty of orders, and we know exactly how to bid each of those targets. Yep. Um, so. The caveat is that our bidder is not just increasing bids infinitely and you know pushing spend to levels that you're not comfortable with. There are definitely mechanisms and guardrails in place to limit that. Um, but you know once once you are what once we're pushing and we're we're getting every keyword or at least you know most of the keywords to that value base bidding state, then we're done with the discovery phase for that time. Um, and again, we're at that value-based bidding point. So describe to me, I think one, one concept that will help people understand how significant this is, is describing bidding without AI in place. So what, what, is, what would be happening? Like you take, 
take our tool out of the equation here. Yeah. You're managing thousands of campaigns. Like, yep. like a lot of campaigns at one time, not just for one client, but for multiple clients at a time. So thousands of campaigns are being optimized, are being watched over, you're gathering a lot of data, right? Yeah. What is life like? <laughs> Knowing that life would be terrible, just automatically, what, is, what would life be like taking our tool out of the equation? So from a campaign launch point of view, yeah, launching hundreds of campaigns at one time, you, could, you, would, you can do it in bulk through Amazon's platform, but you would put a starting bid so 50 cents, you would have to pick something. And there are some benchmarks Amazon provides, but um, a lot of times those data points aren't the, you know, they're not based in actual reality. Mm. So you would have to go in, you'd for have to use- a starting bid for a fresh campaign. For a saying. fresh campaign, yeah, yeah starting bid. Um, you would have to manually go into either every single campaign or use a bulk tool within Amazon to increase those um, as often as you want. You know, we recommend doing it a couple times a day um, so that would be you going in, making these adjustments multiple times a day, every single day at the keyword level or the product target level to try to find that, that data significance point. And without, without AI and without automation, that would be our analyst yep. job. Yep. They wouldn't have time for really anything else except bid management. So it's, it's constant eyes on, your camp, on exactly. all of your campaigns and it's constant monitoring and adjustments within guardrails yep. that you have set that are set, uh, we do not set that, yeah. Okay. So that, that's set on the back end. We have other mechanisms like min bids and max bids mm -hmm. um, so that we say, you know, for any given keyword in this campaign, keep the bid below $5 or keep it above yep. five cents. So we do set that, but yeah, the, um, the, like, the mechanisms that are in place on the back end relate to how much can a, star can a target increase um, from a percent standpoint every single day. So um, that's based on industry or category AOVs and category conversion rates. Yep. Talk to me about, talk to me about the interaction between the user and the tool. So AI right now is, from what I understand at least, it's, it's uh, part human in the loop yep. and part the machine. So what is that dynamic like? Like how much is human being weighed with, uh, how much is human combined with AI at this point in time? Yeah, so, so we're definitely, we're in flywheel a good bit and our analysts are, um, and this isn't something, yeah, you definitely can't set and forget it, but even then, once you do set a cost targets and, and the tool is doing its work in the back end, we're checking in every single day. So one of the first things our analysts will do when they log on every day is hop into flywheel, hop into Amazon, see what the data looks like, and you know, raise or lower a cost targets within our tool as needed. And that is definitely uh, a high priority task for our team. Yes. That's all I had. I honestly, I, I think this conversation or conversations like this are really important because it gives more visibility into AI. And this is just like, we only talked about bidding yeah. really as one vertical of how AI is impacting advertising. There are so many different verticals that AI is impacting, but bidding is perhaps one of the most important. So yeah. there are a whole lot more conversations that I want to have with you specifically, Robbie. But yep. for now, for now, this is a really good place to end. We'll have Laura on to talk more about uh, AI in general as well. But Robbie, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for joining this conversation about artificial intelligence. There's a lot to dive into when it comes to AI and e-commerce. Things are changing at a really rapid pace and we're experiencing a lot of this ongoing. So subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with all things AI and e-com. And of course, to gain access to artificial intelligence in e-commerce, sign up for Ticketmetrics for free. You can start leveraging AI right now today in your own e-commerce operations and your own advertising on Amazon, Walmart, and beyond. And it's free to sign up and to check out. So click below to sign up for Ticketmetrics Flywheel 2.0 for free, and we'll see you there. Thank you.